That's dead ass a fushkit ball jersey, bro. Don't ever have one of them shits on, bro. Bro, what the fuck is that, bro? Like when you're mad or sad or something, like turn me on when you want to get happy or turn up. And today I'm with the future's next star, my nigga Ken Carson. What's up? Ken Carson, aka, wait, hold up, not this guy. <laughs> nah, whenever you type in Ken Carson, this dude pops up. Apparently, he was a pretty well-known singer back then. I guess you really gotta emphasize the dollar sign in his name. But yeah, the Ken Carson we really talking about was born in Atlanta, Georgia in 2000. When I was first born, I stayed on the west side, like when I was younger, mm -hmm. like before, before I was even like 14. But then I moved to the south side. Mm -hmm. That's when I met uh 88 and TM88 and Southside. Mm -hmm. Everybody, that's not the way my feel like. That's but true. when I was 15, dropped out of school and had went to uh, military school. I got kicked out of military school. <laughs> I got kicked out of military school because I had my phone. And you weren't supposed to have your phone in there. Uh huh. I had an iPhone and that's just FaceTime. I'm on FaceTime. I had to get them bitches up. Like, can't not do that. <laughs> The kid who's always smiling has risen to fame at a quick rate recently, opening up for Playboy Cardi at his Narcissist tour, going crazy at Rolling Loud, and just has some of the littest performances I've seen in a long time when it comes to up and coming rappers. <laughs> He actually met Cardi back in around 2016, 2017, and Cardi was showing him love even back then. Months later, so we had a show. I had mm -hmm. got kicked out of this show because I had got the fame. And he was like, damn, what the hell are you doing all the way out here, young nigga? <laughs> I'm like, shit, I just got the fame. Let me get a, let me get a wristband and get back in. He gave me the wristband. I ain't gonna lie, I ran back in. Like, ran back in, I seen his ass. He showed love early on. Yeah, in fact, him, he probably don't even know that. In 2018, Carson released a song called Fold, which caught the attention of Playboy Cardi. Who was looking to sign artists back then, which is what he ended up doing. Ken Carson signed to his Opium label in 2019. That's crazy. At what point did you like guys talk about like, yo, I'm about to sign an Opium like? Ooh, ever since I've been around, really, like. Past two years, it should just been like putting it all the pieces together yeah. and shit. So I was just thinking to myself, like, how the hell did this dude even sign to Cardi though? If there wasn't really that much music to go off of, because I checked his SoundCloud and most of it is recent. Like the oldest thing is from like two years ago. So how the hell did he, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how did he meet all these dudes and get signed or whatever? So apparently he was dropping songs on his SoundCloud back then, but this is what happened. What, what, what happened? Like what happened with your SoundCloud being deleted first? I was talking to this girl and she got mad because I started talking to this other girl <laughs> and she got mad and deleted my shit. Okay, that makes more sense because I was about to say, all the shit that's there now is hella recent after he was signed, so I had to make sure I wasn't bugging. Ken Carson would go on to drop his first official EP, Boy Barbie, on May 1st, 2020 on SoundCloud. Put a jet light test. Fuck a slow, I ain't in a rush. Glock for the three, I'm a bus. Oh, I ain't a my sprint. Oh, I ain't scared of shit. Oh, punch a nigga quick. Oh, baby, got suck on the dick. Till I spaghetti. I'ma come all on her face with the confetti. But his buzz didn't really start popping off till he dropped his tape Teen X on August 14th, 2020. He even ended up co-producing for the song Beano on Whole Lot of Red. Can't fuck with these hoes no more. They don't give a fuck about me. All black, two, three, LeBron with the heat. On January of 2021, he released his Teen X relapse tape, consisting of some of his biggest songs to date. He even dropped another set of tapes this year called The Lost Files, with The Lost Files 1 in January. We gon' fuck this bitch up. Throw it all in the mush pit, yeah. If you try one of us, yeah, you know I'm a bang. Pull up with the stick, I let the motherfucker sing. 
I don't do enough for her. She just wanna get fucked. Pauline got me stuck. And the second one in July. Roll me a blunt, pulled up, four part the pill. I know she don't like me, she want all the fuck, cause I got cash. Hey, I been break. Hey, I been break. Hey, I been happy. On July 23rd, he would finally drop his long-awaited debut album, Project X. Which, well, that's what the blog sites are calling it. You know how confusing the mixtape and what's an album shit is nowadays with the digital market. They say it's a debut album, so I'ma just roll with that. That's just how I rock and roll, 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 roll. Rob a nigga by face, no mess. I don't give a fuck, put a cash in the bag. I put up with a stick and put out real fat. Nick talking about hoes like I hell. I run out no rest on no fail. I fall on that bitch and then I prevail. I I saw an article actually of that boy getting arrested in August of 2021 for domestic violence apparently. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that, but just felt like throwing that out there. It's crazy too because you would think he listens to a lot of the new SoundCloud generation and shit, but he said he doesn't even listen to rap. So like, do you watch any like hip-hop YouTubers at all? I'm not gonna lie, when I'm on YouTube I'm or listening to music, I'm not listening to hip-hop. Oh really? Yeah, I listen to a lot of um, All-American Rejects. Green Day, Blink 182. I've been listening to some crazy shit, bro. And I watch a, cra a lot of crazy shit. That's fire, because those are the bands I listen to as well, and I don't want to listen to rap. But yeah, he ended up getting into a little beef with another rapper named Can Can, where he actually made a comment on Instagram saying, Don't at no biting ass rappers under my shit. To be honest, I find that kind of funny because if we really being honest with ourselves, Ken Carson didn't really invent nothing new with his music, fam. He kind of reminded me of Pierre Bourne when I first heard of him, to be honest. So it's like, I don't know, he's a bit one dimensional to be saying that. But hey, I'm rooting for him, and I see big things coming for him this year especially i just hope he finds more ways to innovate his style and find new sounds and grow musically maybe get some big features and whatnot but he's definitely up next though and i can't wait to go to his set at rolling loud this year <laughs> that shit is gonna go stupid bro <laughs> where the fuck you just get that energy bro? that shit was crazy